Good day, friends. Paul here. I got a comment recently asking if I have any of my original artwork that you're looking at right here in relation to my anatomy drawing book reviews. That's an epic video. It's gotten tons of views. Check it out. I'll put a card up here for you budding artists and just people who are interested in learning how to draw. This is kind of the stuff I do a lot with um, a Ticonderoga or a Papermate number two pencil typically. And then for the darks, I'll use a General's Kimberly 8B pencil with a Pentel polymer eraser caps. I love these things. And yeah, I mean, pretty much with those two things, I do a lot of graphite drawing. I'd have to say that's pretty much my favorite. And I practice going over kind of the high contrast styles of the artists that I like from the 30s and um, or, you know, in the, that period, especially like Noel Sickles, I've done videos about his work with Scorchy Smith and other um, artwork as well. So I, I attempt to copy, or I copy, a lot of those styles and get a feeling for especially the uh, beautiful women. I also like line drawing, contour drawing. This is my friend's cat that I drew live with a General's Charcoal Pencil. I also love these General's Charcoal Pencils. I use typically the medium. I really like that high contrast um, line there. So gesture drawing is a lot of fun. I also like using ink. I did this with uh, quill nib pens, um, like the Hunt nib pens and others with India ink. I use Speedball Super Black India ink and I combine that with Speedball Super Pigmented Acrylic ink and sometimes I blend those two to kind of take off the sheen that takes place with the India ink. It can be quite glossy but again I did this with a nib pen and people that I've shown this to really dig it. There's a lot going on here in this drawing as far as animals and stuff slithering around and you could probably see some of that if you take a look at this but i'm relatively proud of that one and you know mess around with again india ink different styles of that using like a wash effect sometimes this stuff's great with the hard backing covers um smooth bristol boards what i like and it's just so great to use this drawing i did here in the inside of a church see the piano down there on the bottom I did with um, Tombow brush pens they have a long brush tip and these are blendable and then a smaller tip down there on the bottom these are blendable with water guys you can use them like watercolor and blend for um, different effects you get some really nice effects with those and there's a full range of colors but yeah I get, as far as brush pens go those are a lot of fun charcoal drawing right there with a little bit of wash that's the nice thing about charcoal you could use wash um, of a winter birch tree and there's one of my friends kitty cats again I cut that out charcoal again it's kind of fun and you know I do a lot of like journaling with art and you know I'll write about seasons or you know different kind of notes and things that I find interesting like that and I really like practicing the high contrast kind of style it's something that I want to continue to improve on again using India ink with a brush for a wash and I just I started this in graphite as I do pretty much everything well my journey with art is um, finding out what works and maybe what doesn't work or just what needs to get tweaked in the um, exploration also for favorite mediums and as you can tell I love black and white and I like my ink pens. I got these Pigma Sensei pens, excellent ink pen. I showed you the brush pens from Tombow, India ink, and I also use fountain pens on occasion. I like using these, but if I get impatient, they can kind of skip sometimes. So, you know, the ink pens are really a lot of fun. But I have to say probably at 75%, 80% of the time, guys, I'm using a good old fashioned pencil. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and post your comments below. Um, for any tips you might give, you know, a hobby, a hobbyist artist, somebody who wants to get into drawing and learn drawing, those books I was showing you before on those um, reviews I've done, definitely check those out because uh, it's a lot of fun um, collecting books.